Well, I'm sitting around saying all day, this place is not crowded, what's going on? Meanwhile, Disney's like, this is how I win. And there it is, that's the back of the line right there. And oh, that's it, oh my God, it was exactly. <laughs> oh my God, that was so much fun. <laughs> pop, pop. I love going to Disneyland, you guys. I'm having the best time doing a state of Disneyland report. Not gonna lie, I, it's been a whole, I don't know, a week or 10 days since I've been to Disneyland and I feel like I haven't been here in forever. I am so happy to be back at my second home. Looks like they're sending the street or the uh, horse-drawn streetcar back to stage. Uh, but we're here, we're back. We're gonna do another uh, State of Disneyland today. It's been a little while actually since we've done one of these. Normally I try to do these at the first of the month, but timing such that they are. But I'm really curious. I'm really curious to see how this one goes because the parks have gone through quite a bit since uh, since the last time we did. We, we had the last one we did was when APs were renewing, when Magic Keys were renewing trying to get a sense of how things were in the park. It's been a couple weeks. It's been, a, no, gosh, man, it's more than that. It's been a couple months, I should say. We're gonna do our usual thing. We're gonna, we're gonna walk through all the lands, every land, look at all the attractions, look at the crowds, look at the weights, try to get a picture of what the current state of Disneyland is. How is the park doing today? Uh, where is it strong? Where is it weak? Is it busy? Is it not? We're going to talk about some of the you know pros and cons of the park as well on, along our way, and of course we'll be starting that trip down Main Street with some observations that we're going to make right off the top with regard to reservations. As of right now, actually, <laughs> I just checked the calendar right now. Uh, now I'm going to do this by memory because I'm on gimbal phone, gimbal cam, so I can't look at the actual images, the calendar. But uh, as far as Magic Keys go. I look at the Inspire Key because that's the one that <laughs> I'm biased towards, I guess. But that's also the one that gives us the best indication of, you know, how how active and how booked dates are. Anyway, uh, Inspire Key has just a couple dates this week or this month blocked out still or, or booked out, I should say. Um, weekend dates, Saturdays. But otherwise, it's fairly wide open. I got my reservation for today, the one I'm using right now, last night. Well, actually, it was around one o'clock in the morning that I got this reservation. So uh, the dates are pretty available right now in, the, in, a, in a very peak season. Uh, so that's a good sign that, that, that Disney is not uh, limiting. Hi, how are you guys? Thank you. Uh, you know, the, 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 the parks are open. They're wide open pretty much. All of October is open, if I recall. All of or, uh uh, November is wide open and whatever is whatever is available in December to book because we're only 90 days out is wide open and there are no date I think well actually I, I want to say that oh gosh no I can't remember there's might there might have been a Saturday or two booked up in November or I mean October uh, but otherwise it feels pretty wide open you can and whatever dates that are booked up you can probably get with just a little bit of diligence if you just pay attention to the calendar what's interesting is that I had always assumed I don't look at the single day ticket calendar very often. Again, that's probably due to bias, but I wanted to make a point of looking into that today because I want to know if they're experiencing the same thing that we are, that the keys are, that it's wide open. It's not, actually. Uh, well, you can't buy a ticket today, which is supposed to be the whole idea is, or the, the, the goal is to be able to buy a ticket same day. Can't get one for tomorrow either. And those are the only days that, in, in terms of, hi, how are you? In terms of single day tickets, though, that's what I look at the most is can you go today? Because I feel like it's not too difficult to book things out in the future uh, when you're booking tickets. Now, having said that, there are a few days 
Hey guys, guys, how are you? Recognize yeah. You. I don't watch your much, but it's nice to meet you. Oh, you too. You too. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Have a good day, guys. Thank you. There's a couple days in October. In October, the uh, weekdays, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm trying to figure that out. I'm trying to figure out why there's a couple of weekdays in October that you can't book. I don't know what that means. It's kind of a head scratcher. I'm literally scratching my head as I think about this. I don't understand it. But it, I want to say that in, in the big picture, for the most part, the parks are open. There is no, as far as I can tell, there's no real limitation on capacity. Whatever's going on in those days, I can't figure. But for the most part, I feel like we're running at pretty much full capacity. Now the question is, is that how it's going to feel inside the parks? That's always a, a debate that I have, a conversation that I have in my mind about, you know, whenever I do a state of Disneyland is, does the park feel the way it should <laughs> in the middle of September, it, you know, and just leading up to the Halloween season, one of the busiest times of the year, every day it gets more and more busy historically uh, as you lead up to Christmas. Now, if I had done this report that I'm doing last week, we might have had a very different conversation because last week we went through a major heat wave. Uh, temperatures uh, got as high as 106 here at Disneyland and it showed in the parks. It did show. Uh, I think D23 might have had something to do with that as well, but the parks were dead, dead in the middle of the day. You got here in the morning, it was pretty busy, but if you were here between the hours of 10 and let's say five o'clock, you could have your pick of attractions dead. Uh, even Rise of Resistance, I've heard, I heard a couple stories of people, you know, doing rise in 20 or 30 minutes. Now, when the evenings got around, things get, things pick up a bit for a couple of reasons. One, it's cooled off and uh, that kind of thing. And you got people coming over from DCA because there's an Oogie Boogie or something like that going on. So that is an effect. Nights got pretty crowded here. Uh, but this week is going to be a little bit different. The temperatures have come down. It's uh, mid 80s, I think, today. I, I don't know for sure. So it, it, this might be more, more indicative of a typical situation as we walk through Adventureland right now. And already I can, I can say it's about two o'clock. We have a lot of unfavorable attendance mixed guests there. <laughs> They're all very proud of that. Proud of being an unfavorable attendee. Uh, <laughs> that's still a thing, that's still happening. But I, it, is, it feels pretty busy right here, actually. It feels pretty busy. And having been to the park going on, I don't know, a thousand times now, <laughs> I have a pretty good sense of what is busy and what isn't. This is busy. I can already see double-decker crowds up top. The queue says, or the sign says 40, but you've got guests just parked up there on the upper level. And the rear of the upper level, that's, a bit, that's not 40 minutes. If it is, it's going to be a hard 40. It's not, it's not going to be an easy 40. 75 for Indiana Jones. Look at that. Okay, there, oh my gosh. There's your lightning lane. This is why it's 75 minutes. That's your lightning lane queue. It looks bad. It, it's, uh, it looks bad for, for me as a, as a standby guest. I don't like to see this. Hi, guys. Uh, but it's not so bad. If you're, if you're lightning lane, don't, don't fear this. Don't fear a queue that goes back there for lightning lane because every single one of these people... You can count every single one of these heads. All of them are getting in. They will be in their ride vehicles. Hold on as I frogger my way across the street here. Uh, they will all be in their ride vehicles before even these guests up here near the front of the standby queue. Is down the middle. I would actually, you know, if I had time, I would do a little social experiment on that. And I would, I would try to find somebody here in the standby queue, somebody on that ramp, and I would bet money that all those Lightning Lane guests get into their vehicles or leave this attraction before those guys do. Yeah, full to the brim, ish. They haven't filled this, oh, it's not full to the brim. You got a little bit of space here. You can fit a few more people to stand by. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can squeeze a few more, all available space. I love walking back here. Go checking the queue for Indiana Jones gives me an excuse to do this because this is a view that most people don't uh, don't take in very often 
when uh, uh, on Indiana Jones, and you certainly don't get to see it when you're on the Jungle Cruise. But I love to watch boats go by. This is an underappreciated perspective of Jungle Cruise, and I am a big fan of perspective. I want to see a boat go by, though. Guys, where are they? Are they lost? Has Skipper Felix abandoned all boats? Has he, has he sunk them all? Okay, I actually turned the camera off and stood here and waited for a while because I didn't want to waste my memory. And it's, it's been a few minutes. I've been sitting here waiting for a boat. Still no boat. I'm concerned for the Jungle Cruise, you guys. <laughs> I've got legitimate concerns. I haven't heard any of the gunfire, because I think they trigger that, the cast members do, the skippers. Well, now I have to go look. Yeah, it looks like they're just now letting guests in again. They had the rope up as I was walking out here. He was just taking down the rope, so they must be back in action. Hi, guys. How long you been up there? How long you been up there? Yeah, it, it's, it was uh, 25, I think, when, when we got on it. But it's, it's, I haven't seen a boat go by in a few minutes. Yeah. yeah. Something, something's wrong with the boats. <laughs> But I think they're going. I think they're back up again. So I think you're good. Yeah, well, I want to get a picture of you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right, have a good one, guys. That's fun. Oh, there we go. Hit it, Skip. That boat right there, that empty one, is the one that we saw go by when we were on Indiana Jones. I think. Uh, that's what I was looking for. This is a great view, by the way. We're in the old Indiana Jones Fast Pass kiosk. I like to watch the boats take off from here as well. Okay, but we got work to do. Let's keep moving. Still no update on Tarzan's treehouse. We have some images to share in a construction update soon, hopefully. The scrims are back up. They were down for quite a while. They were down for a few days, but the scrims are back up. I'm very disappointed that we didn't hear anything from Disney at D23. Just, I mean, just give us some kind of idea of what the heck you're doing with Tarzan's treehouse. I feel like that's the kind of place, that's the time to do that, right? The fact that they didn't tells me that they, maybe they don't know, or I don't know why they wouldn't want to let us know then. All right, Pirates, uh, it looked, there was no guests, there were no guests up on the bridge, yet the, the time says 40. This is the this is the entirety of the queue right here. That's it, that's your whole queue. Hi. Hi. Uh, okay, so that's clearly not 40 minutes. That's 15, if that. I wonder if uh, if they just well I don't know man it ain't it ain't forty that's all I can say. They've been ready for a lot of folks. There's all kinds of extended queue ropes out here. Let's go into Northern Square. Take a walk down Royal Street. I mean, it feels kind of busy, right? Hey, how are you? Feels about as it should. So far we've seen some highs and some lows, right? You got the high of Indiana Jones at a solid 75 and the low of Pirates at 20. There's Eudora. Dora's Chic Boutique. It's a gift shop. There is no gumbo being served. 
at Eudora's. They might be selling equipment that you can use, kitchen utensils you can use to make the gumbo, but they will not be selling gumbo. Ooh, I just got a peek. You guys didn't look, but I did. I got to look inside the Court of Angels because the door to Club 33 was open. <laughs> uh, sorry about it. Oh my, this is uh, congested. Although there's no... Oh, have they? They've constructed a little queue inside there for the mint julep bar. Normally they'd let it run throughout Royal Street, but they've uh, built a little, a couple switchbacks out here with some stanchions. I've seen them do that in the past, but it's not the most common thing that they do. Pardon me, sorry. Nobody at the Disneyland Railroad. That's interesting. I'm tempted, but I can't. I got work to do. <laughs> it's a tractor beam. Oh no, there's some guests in there. Okay, they're all sitting down. They're all trying to get covered. All right, that's a that's a solid one train wait right there. 20 minutes, the board says. Or trains arriving. Trains arriving every 20 minutes, not every 10 minutes, which means they're short a train. On a mantry queue is out here into the fountain, uh, when Liz was here the other night, she said it was 75. This, uh, okay, so right here, if the queue's right there, it's usually 30 or 40. Add 10 minutes here, I'm saying that's probably an hour. It's probably 60 minutes, depending on how full or how busy Lightning Lane is. Hey, hey guys, how are you? Okay. Look at that. That makes me happy. I know it doesn't make you guys happy to see all these people, but it makes me happy. I like to see people enjoying the park. I really enjoy seeing people having a good time and you know, taking in the park as it should. It says 65. I was off by five minutes. 65. But the fact that they built a switchback out here for Lightning Lane tells me that that's part of the reason, obviously. Oh, cast members having fun too. Everybody's having fun. I am such a sucker. I love to see people having fun. That makes me happy. You know what? Look, this doesn't make me happy right here though. That's the, uh, Hey, how are you? Hi. Uh, Mark Twain and Doc this time of day is... Uh, Mark Twain and Doc this time of day, it's not good. It should be out, out and about until about 5 or 6 o'clock. No wait time for Splash Mountain. Did you guys see our video about the model for Tiana's Bayou Adventure? <laughs> this thing right here is being removed. There's gonna be no queuing out here. There's no queue right here. They're gonna take all this out, open up this path and they're gonna build an extended queue. I'll show you in just a minute as I walk down the hill. <laughs> but yeah, uh, no queuing out here. And this little entrance where you get in right now for Splash Mountain will be closed off. This will become a dead end. They're gonna close this off right here. And so this little cute little trail, hey, how are you? Uh, this cute little trail, will, will, they won't be using that at all unless they can find a way, I don't know how, because that's one way traffic only. I don't think the, I don't think they can use it.
bum 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 ba da 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 da. So this right here, they're gonna build an entrance. They're probably gonna bring this out a little bit. They'll take out the, well, they've already taken out the fast pass machines, but they'll reconfigure this queue. They'll bring the briar patch out in terms of its, its you know, footprint. And it'll narrow this path here a little bit. And they're gonna turn all of this into switchbacks right here. They're gonna build a bunch of switchbacks in there. I don't know if it's gonna fully replace what's out there. And I don't know if they're gonna, how they're gonna be able to make use of the existing queue space that's up there already. They might have to demo See if I can get in there. They'll probably have to demo all this. I would expect that to happen. I would expect all this to get demoed, even the path. Actually, yeah. Uh, they're gonna push all this back, I bet. They're gonna push, you know, that, that planner area there, that path up there, and they'll flatten that. They'll bring it down to ground level and create a bunch of switchbacks, give it more space for the switchbacks, and then they'll probably connect this queue right up, right up out here. Bump, bump. right about to this spot right here is where they'll connect with the existing queue. I wonder if they'll keep this or if they'll build permanent switchbacks here as well. I feel like you probably don't need permanent switchbacks there because they don't always use them. You know, it's not always hot or busy enough for that. By the way, with Splash Mountain down, you've got everybody deciding to take a run at Winnie the Pooh, never be afraid, never be afraid of jumping in the Winnie the Pooh queue. No matter how bad it looks, even this at its, it, well, it's not even at its fullest capacity, although she's getting ready, I think, to extend it, because you could run this queue all up through here as well. I've never seen it out here, but I have seen it in there. But anyway, never be afraid. This, this queue goes so fast. It just moves so quickly, like butter. I don't think the, uh, the move to Tiana's is gonna affect Critter Country proper at all, except for the fact that they're losing an attraction with respect to it just being, you know, where it's defined. It's in the same way as Matterhorn. Matterhorn used to be uh, fan or uh, Tomorrowland, right? So it still exists where it was, it's still the same ride, but it used to be Tomorrowland, now it's Fantasyland. You know, I mean, I would even, in my mind, in my mind, even if they call it Tiana's Bayou Adventure and it's set in the New Orleans Bayou, it's still Critter Country to me. <laughs> you know? I just, it always has been, it always will be. I, it's never gonna be New Orleans Square for me. Uh, it'll always be part of Critter Country. Now, the only thing that would change that is if they change Pooh Corner. If they change Pooh Corner, if they try to retheme that into a Tiana gift shop or a New Orleans Square type gift shop, that obviously, that's the, that's the end of Pooh Corner. I don't think they're gonna do that. I've heard a rumor, but I don't know why, considering Winnie the Pooh is huge when it comes to merchandising uh, and just you know money, making money for the Disney company. Winnie the Pooh merchandise sells like crazy. Now I wonder though, I wonder, I hadn't considered this before. And as I'm winging this conversation, I hadn't, Winnie the Pooh is now public domain. Does Disney feel like they don't have any kind of exclusivity with Winnie the Pooh now? And maybe that's why it's, maybe that's one of the reasons, one of the reasons why they shipped it. Well, because Splash Mountain wasn't Pooh. It was Critter Country though. And Critter Country isn't Pooh. It's just Winnie the Pooh ride and Pooh Corner. What if, food for thought, what if that is a reason they're slowly sort of like boiling the frog as it were to turn Critter Country into an extension of New Orleans Square. But then where would we go to meet Winnie the Pooh and hear that lovely music, the music that I love to hear when I'm at Disneyland and the adorable Pooh Corner gift shop, which is adorable. And this queue, oh my God, you guys, the Winnie the Pooh, the many adventures of, try, The attraction, the Winnie the Pooh attraction is beautiful. It's adorable, I love it, it's cute. It's one of my top 10 cues in the entire 
Disneyland Resort. I love Winnie the Pooh and the adventures that he has in the 100 acre wood. I would be sad. I would be sad if they took it out. Sadder than I was, well, theoretically, because I don't recall that happening, but sadder than I would have been when they took out Critter Country and put Winnie the Pooh there. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Thank you, you too. 241. I was gonna walk through the Hungry Bear, the upper lot of the Hungry Bear, just to get a sense of uh, you know how busy it might feel, but it's the wrong time of day to go check out the Hungry Bear. It's not gonna be very crowded right there. Oh, but we do have the Columbia. We can pause for that. Looks like the canoes are standing by waiting for the Columbia to go by. Let's go to our customary spot. I can't walk down this path without doing this. <laughs> Which by the way, I've complained before about what this path did to the Hungry Bear. It's not as, the Hungry Bear is the lower level anyway. Hi. The lower level sucks now. It's not even a place to go. I would not eat a single meal at the lower level unless I was desperate. Uh, and it, you know, you don't have, you don't have the act, you don't have the, the, the riverside seats and the ducks like you used to. But it does, it did, it does give us the opportunity to stop here on this trail and watch boat traffic go by. Does that mean, does that do anything for you? Because it does for me. To attack a passing ship such as ours and steal its bounty. Ooh. Bowman, band the starboard fox and cannon and prepare to fire a warning shot. So as any curious pirates hide near the shore, will know we are well armed. Those of you around the cannon best be stepping back. We back. For the cannon should be a might loud, and the gunner's aim be a might poor. Be ready to fire one! Watch a flinch. Or not. <laughs> even, even when I know it's coming, I I, I sometimes flinch. Fire one. <laughs> What's happening? Okay, guys. Let's keep this party going. Galaxy's Edge, one of the great transitions. I'll never get tired of saying that. From Critter Country to Galaxy's Edge is just perfection. It's not bad, that's kind of light for Rise of the Resistance. A very casual looking standby crowd there. I've seen worse, <laughs> no doubt about it. Forty? Oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever seen that before. In the middle of the day like this, three, what is it, 3.30? 45 minutes? That's remarkable. <laughs> That's remarkable. Okay, so where do we stand today? Where does that put us on the is it busy or not scale? Because at first I was thinking, yeah, it's kind of busy because we saw the 75 minute Indiana Jones queue and the uh, definitely not 40 minute, but more Jungle Cruise queue. But then we saw the light Pirates queue at 20. Haunted Mansion was pretty beefy, but it's, you know, Haunted Mansion season. Splash Mountain was down. But 45 minutes for Rise of the Resistance is interesting, to say the least. I just, I wonder, I wonder if they have just simply miscalculated our interest 
at Disneyland for Genie Plus. We are the unfavorable attendance mix. Have they, are they going to, <laughs> that's it. That's by the way, that's it. When it comes to the conversation of what does he, what do they mean by the unfavorable mix? They mean the guests at Disneyland don't, not just that they don't spend like other guests do, which everybody knows, but specifically we're not buying Genie Plus or Lightning Lane. Not at the rate they want us to anyway. Not at the rate they do at, at Walt Disney World. And I wonder if that's just simply a case of them miscalculating our desire for that. We get by, you guys, we get by without it. And it's because, but it's actually, it's a testament. It's not so much, you know, uh, it's, it's a testament to the quality of Disneyland. It's a testament to how great Disneyland is without the attractions. How's it going? That we don't, it's not about the attractions. Uh, on the, in the big picture here at Disneyland. It's not about that. It's not for, for a lot of us guests. I mean, it's important, but it's not the important. That's why Galaxy's Edge didn't pop like they thought it would. And it's why I would rather they not spend a bunch of money on new attraction, but spend that money instead on making the park as it is today better. You know, making a better Galaxy's Edge, making a Galaxy's Edge just, you know, compete with Avengers Campus in terms of the show quality, in terms of everything that's going on. The characters on the ground, Fennec Shand is standing right in front of us. Uh, but stuff like, you know, the show they did over here at Galaxy's Edge uh, for the media night when it first opened. But they've got they got three shows. They do three shows at Avengers Campus. We don't have any. We got Kylo Ren. He walks around from time to time and he yells at little kids. Shocking. I'm really thirsty. I feel like taking a break and getting some water. And I think that's exactly what we're gonna do as soon as we check out what's happening at Smuggler's Run. What about Moof Juice? Wait, no, the Moof Juice, Moof Juice is at Docking Base 7. This is where you get the Tatooine Sunset or the Melaroon Juice. I don't think I've ever had a Tatooine Sunset. Let's just do that now. Let's get a Tatooine Sunset. It's iced tea. All right, Tatooine Sunset. <sighs> oh my God, <laughs> that's so good. Oh my God, that's so good. It's, it's more fruit than tea. I mean, it's tea and fruit, but I thought it would be strong on the tea side, but it's not, it's more fruity. That is amazing. Oh my God, that's so good. Well, while I finish this, and I, I could have another one, uh, let's take a look at the tip board right now and see what the park looks like. Okay. Alice in Wonderland, 40 minutes. Astro Orbiter, 15. Autopia is closed. Big Thunder is almost an hour with a return time in an hour and 20 minutes. However, Buzz Lightyear is just 30 minutes standby and return time of 30 minutes. Buzz Lightyear is one of those odd attractions that actually is busier than a ride of that quality should be. Casey Jr. says 10. I find that unbelievable. Uh, Dumbo, 20 minutes. Probably, we're heading to Fantasyland next, so we'll look in on that. Nemo Sub says 35. I owe you a ride, Mr. Nemo. Haunted Mansion says 45. Wow, that's down quite a bit from the what, 65 we were there before uh, with a return time in four hours, which makes sense. A lot of people are gonna buy, well I should say, some of the people are gonna buy Genie Plus today just for that. They don't wanna wait. You're not used to waiting that long for Haunted Mansion, so you give in and you buy Genie Plus for that purpose. Indiana Jones is uh, at 50, but six hours. Six hours return time. I don't know, man. I don't even know if I would use Genie Plus for Indiana Jones. Smart World is five. Look at that. Five minutes. Jungle Cruise 40. This is difficult to determine. There's so many, there's such a wide disparity uh, between the expectations and reality on this. Mad Tea Party, 10 minutes. Winnie the Pooh, 10 minutes. You know what this is? Smuggler's Run 60. We're going to go check that in a minute. Uh, 
Let's see if that's valid. 405, return time for an hour. Totes, 25. Peter Pan is 35. Pinocchio, 15. Which is shocking considering the immense popularity of the Pinocchio film. Pirates of the Caribbean, 20. Snow White, 20. Okay, Splash is back up, but it's uh, four hours for Genie Plus and 50 standbys. Oh no, that's Space Mountain. Splash is back up, 30 minutes with a three, almost four hour return time. Star Tours at 25, return time now. Rise of the Resist, my God. Wow, 45 and 340. Nobody's buying Lightning Lane, you guys. Nobody's buying it. Oh my God, that's shocking. That's shocking. Okay, I have a point to make. We're gonna get to it. Actually, we're gonna get to it after I finish recording this and we're walking by uh, Smuggler's Run. I just, I can't, I can't. I can, look at that, 45 minutes standby and 20 minute return time for, I just cannot believe it. I've never in my life have seen, never. I've never seen it that slow in either direction, neither lightning lane or standby. Incredible. You guys, I can't get over how good that Tatooine sunset was. I may not ever drink anything else ever again in this place. Whoo, that was good. Uh, okay, what did we see? We saw it was 50 minutes for Smuggler's Run. When we were just looking at uh, the, the, the tip board. Yeah, if it has to leave. And now it says 60 out in front of the attraction. Now it's hard to judge, I've said this before, hard to judge how accurate that is. But I'll take their word for it. But really I want to talk about the point that I was trying to make. When I was looking at, we saw such a disparity. Some really short times and some really long times. But you'll notice that the short times were all the standby, or uh, standby only attractions. And the long times were all strictly uh, Lightning Lane, Genie Plus. What that is, is that the park is not crowded. Because if it were crowded, you would see longer lines, you'd see longer waits for non-Lightning Lane attractions, for standby only attractions, you would see longer waits if it were crowded. But they are buying Genie Plus today. Except, okay, they're buying a lot of Genie Plus today, but they're not buying Lightning Lane. In fact, get this, here's, I'm gonna give you an even deeper cut. This is gonna get really thought provoking right here, you guys. But this is, you know, years of experience. The re, okay, so they're buying Genie Plus for the reasons that I mentioned before. It's because of Haunted Mansion. People are not accustomed to waiting a long time for Haunted Mansion, so they, they give in and they buy it for this period. But because they're buying Haunted, because they're buying Genie Plus, they're not buying uh, individual lighting lanes for you know for Rise of Resistance or probably for anything else or for Raider Springs Racers. They're choosing one of the. They're choosing one, but they're not doing both. Hey guys, how are you? How are you doing? Good, good. So that's why that's why you're seeing short wait times. Get in frame, David. Short wait times for standby, long wait times for Genie Plus, and no and a short wait for Rise of Resistance. It's crazy how that works, and that's just Haunted Mansion. That's all almost entirely on Haunted Mansion. So if we're talking about you know, the state of Disneyland right now, I think we're still at that place where it's not crowded. It's very enjoyable right now. Today has been a very enjoyable day. I spent the morning at DCA. We did a video in DCA this morning. Had a very enjoyable, casual day there. Uh, I've had a very casual day here. You know, I haven't seen a lot of waits. I mean, you know, the only one that I saw that was really bad was that first one for Jungle Cruise. Uh, but otherwise, it's been it's been as expected or 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 less. If you're not using Genie Plus, <laughs> the crowds are not here. You can see it. I mean, look, just look, just look. The crowds are not here, uh, but they are buying Genie Plus today. Fascinating. Now this won't last though. We'll see what happens when we get further into the Halloween season and closer to Christmas. Uh, the allure. The, the enthusiasm for Haunted Mansion for you know Nightmare Overlay will wear off, and you won't you won't have people desperate to to get into the attraction, and they won't you know desperate enough to buy Genie Plus. 
And now we're gonna go check in on Fantasyland to see if those 10 minute Casey Jr. return times and what was it, 10 or 20? Was it 20 for Dumbo? We'll see. I think we have two, two trains running, which could be a reason why Casey is, uh, has such a, t you know, just a 10 minute wait, because I could have sworn I just saw a train take off. So one train just pulled in, and if we see another one on the I think I can hill, yeah, there it is. He just came down to the I think I, he did, he, he could, he did. So yeah, two trains running. Great situation for Casey Jr. fans, and it does help to explain why there's no weight here, or a minimal weight in the standby. Pinocchio, okay, that's a long queue for Pinocchio. The other, the past couple of states of Disneyland I've done, the queue when I've come through here has been just barely out the door. So apparently the film, the, the tremendous success and reception of the Pinocchio film is working magic <laughs> on, the, on the attraction here at Disneyland. <laughs> I have comments about that thing that Chapik was talking about too. How your D plus activity will reflect on your visits to Disneyland. Okay, Snow White's not too bad. That's very uh, manageable right there. Standard, not busy. Easy done, 20 minutes. Uh, Peter Pan is, the, yeah, it's light. That's 35. Uh, they're not using that rear section back there. They're only using one of the switchbacks up here. This is empty right there. That's 30, yeah. Hey, how are you? Nice that? Yeah. Toads is doing work. That's actually kind of busy for Toads. They have filled up. That's so odd. Why is Peter Pan not or not so busy? or less busy than usual, but Toads is, well, anyway, Toads is nothing. Uh, no matter what Toads is, it's nothing. That's the quickest ride ever. Uh, Dumbo is posted at 20. Golly, there's just, it just doesn't feel busy. It just doesn't feel that busy right here. Looks like we're at one rotation for the teacups and by that I mean if you want to ride all you have to do is wait for the net you don't have to wait one turn you don't have to wait multiple turns I've done some recon here in the past and if the queue is right about where it is now where the, the back of the queue is halfway through this third row right here uh, then you're, you're good you'll get in all these folks are gonna get in as soon as those guys clear out. Let's watch and find out. I'm really interested to see how this plays out. I can't wait. I made I made a prediction and I want it to work out. Let's go. Open the gates. Let me exploit your riches. There they go. Bump, bump. I love this hat. You guys see that guy's hat back there? There's a mouse in there. Okay. So far, we are correct. So far, everybody's getting in. Keep coming, keep coming. I see one, two cups still. And there it is. That's the back of the line right there. Everybody got in. And oh, that's it. Oh my God, it was exactly. <laughs> that was wild. Exactly where I called the back of the line is what got in. <laughs> oh, there's one more cup, a little bit more. Okay, we could top it off. We could top it off a little bit. And that's it. Oh my God, that was so much fun. <laughs> bop, bop. Bop, bop. I love going to Disneyland, you guys. Uh, <laughs> I love it. It's like sport for me. It's not just the attractions. It's not just 
you know, the characters. The whole thing is like an event. The whole thing is just, it, it, oh my God, I love it. I love it so much. It makes me happy to do these things. I hope that comes through. <laughs> I'm having the best time doing a state of Disneyland report. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, look at that queue to meet Mickey and Minnie up there in their classic costumes. So if you want to meet Mickey and Minnie in their classic costumes, you come to Fantasyland, Small World. If you want to meet Mickey and Minnie in their Halloween costumes, you go to Main Street, Town Square. I did not know that. There you go. This just in. Look at, look at, look at, look. And they're going to be closing this ride soon. You guys got to get your rides in quickly uh, before they close it and then flood it and... <laughs> <laughs> they have to go <laughs> a helicopter in a new water pump. Look at that. You could just walk onto Small World right now. Posted as 10, but it's not even that. They're going to flow. These guests walking in right now are, are going to walk straight into a boat. It's 10 minutes if it takes you 10 minutes to walk that far. <laughs> Look at that. There's nobody in the queue. Hey, how are you? Good, you? good. good. Look at that. There's nobody in the queue. Zip. And a train. Bonus. I love going to Disneyland. <laughs> uh, and the pearly band. Coming up to do a little set over here at the Small World Mall. I just can't get over it. Park is not busy. I'm calling it. It's official. I said it. It's done. It's slow. You guys are going to hear me say it again for the hundredth time. Oh, I have to go home and watch Mary Poppins. Hi. I got to go watch Mary Poppins. I'm sorry. I got to go. <laughs> I got to go. <laughs> I need to get home and watch Mary Poppins. That's great. Okay. Everybody, everybody turns on their, their British accents when they start talking. <laughs> they start talking to Mary Poppins. Everybody's suddenly British. Okay, Matterhorn, there's a date, October 15th, I think it is, 14th or 15th, Matterhorn. Yeah. Yeah, right. I love the Matterhorn. Uh, October 14th or 15th for the return of the Matterhorn. Uh, I don't expect there to be any observable changes. They didn't put in a new track or anything like that. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be just like it was. It's just routine maintenance and stuff. They did a little bit here for this, uh, what used to be the, the Fast Pass kiosk. Well, they finally put in some benches. Finally, because these, these weren't here before. They had cleared this area out, but they now just recently put in those benches, it looks like, which is lovely. We need more places to sit at Disneyland. Looks like the scaffolding's down. Are you serious? There was scaffolding right here. So right where that oh my god, what's going on with my camera? Right where that uh, waterfall would be. Lovely. Uh, and the scaffolding's down here also where that waterfall would be as well. So they're just about done, I would guess. Take a, we'll take a ride on the monorail and do a construction video soon on that topic. We won't be on the monorail today though, sorry. Finding Nemo. People are still showing up for Finding Nemo. It's not as bad as it could be. I think the whiteboard said 35. Normally it would be more closer to 45. But that's some stout folk there taking part in one of the most underrated things you can do at Disneyland, in my opinion. Fine, Nemo. Board says 30. I hear another other bus tomorrow taking off. There it goes. It's taking off. 
That's the same monorail we saw a minute ago. It's got its next rotation of guests on its way to downtown Disney. I'm really curious to see how Space Mountain is going to be. Although we kind of already know, don't we? We were looking at the uh, tip board before and it was an hour. But Space Mountain has been light the last few visits. Surprisingly light. Thank you, thank you very much. Ten minutes. I love a ten minute Autopia wait. And that's about right. You look at the standby queue, it's fairly short. It's just the one, the one length there and that's it. It doesn't look like they're going into the turnaround. Oh yeah, they are. There is some guests over here. It looks like they may have, I don't know if they've gone all the way, if they're going all the way around or not. No, there's guests back there. This ain't 10 minutes. That is not 10. That's 20 or 30 probably. If there's guests, you can, I don't know if you can see them through the lens, but I can see them. There's guests making the loop back there uh, around, around the uh, rotunda, whatever you want to call that. So that's a, that's a situation where the whiteboard is wrong in the wrong direction. This feels much more clear here. I feel like our view is less obstructed. I think, is it that tree? This tree here that maybe has been taken down or trimmed, or is it the trees? I think I've mentioned this before. The trees at the, uh, the botulism ball appears to appear to be less than they were before. Hi. Ah, I love our fans so much. We have such a wide array of fans, young and old, men and women, boys and girls. I love it. Standby on the board says 50. You can't see it, but I can. It says 50. That's probably right. Space Mountain should be 50, especially on a day where people are getting. Hi, guys! Are, are buying Genie Plus. Hi! Hey, guys! Hi! Look how happy everybody is. <laughs> Oh, people mover. I did a whole video about you, people mover. I'm really upset. You let me down. And, and, and you let me down too, Innoventions. Not happy about either of you two. You guys both disappointed me. I'm not mad. I'm disappointed. <laughs> but you know what? I've, I've said before, I'm fine with Tomorrowland. I really am. It's fine. I mean, I would, rather, I would love to have people move it back. I don't need a new Tomorrowland. I really don't. I don't need a new anything at Disneyland. I want Disneyland as it is to be better. The rides that we have. Fix things. Fix the turrets on Rise of the Resistance. Fix the doors on Indiana Jones. The boulder. The snake. You know? Put AC in the monorail. Can you, is that possible? There are a lot of things that they could do better. I don't know, throw a couple bucks at your cast members. This guy right here. That guy. You, sir, you deserve an extra $2 an hour. Okay, you, you deserve to make more money. They all do. Every last one of you deserve to make more money and to be treated better. That's the state of Disneyland I can get behind. Treat your cats better. People who are, the people, these are the people, this is the reason why I come back. I certainly am not coming back because of your yield management. <laughs> yield management is not bringing me back into the park. Pay fast pass is not bringing me back into the park. The reservation system isn't bringing me back into the park. The park is bringing me back to the park and the people in it. That's what's bringing me back to Disneyland every single week to make videos. And I'm sure I can speak for a lot of you 
as well when I say that. If I hear yield management one more time out of Chapek, I'm gonna take a hostage. <laughs> Yield management. I'm not your yield, Bob. Okay, we got one more place to go. We always wind up finishing in Frontierland, don't we? Because it's that weird loop we do <laughs> going into uh, Adventureland around the back side of the park, and then we miss the the the, the middle. Lots of folks just relaxing. Look at there's people just passed out on these benches eating popcorn, having a lovely day. I want another Tatooine sunset. That's all I can think about for the past 30 minutes. <laughs> no, for, it's almost been an hour now since I had that Tatooine sunset. I want another one. been very casual though I'll say that again it's been a very light breezy walk through the park today there have been only a couple of occasions where I have felt like my path has been restricted and that's another you know internal measurement that I use to figure out how you know how how often am I having to negotiate people like try to stop start turn left turn right you know back up kind of thing I haven't had to do that hardly at all today. It's been a straight line to wherever I want to go. Just like now. I mean, it looks busy through the lens at times, but if I'm, if I'm able to make a straight line, then it's not busy. In most cases. Like Adventureland. If you could do a straight line in Adventureland, whew, that's a miracle. Big Thunder says 50 minutes. I'll bet you a dollar it's not. There's not, a, there's not even a whiff of a guest out here in this extended queue. Although it could be again, like I said before, it's a lightning lane issue. More people are buying it today than, than usual, it seems like. And that'll be the case probably into October is my guess. Yeah. The queue on the left. Which queue is standby? <laughs> Which queue is standby? Can you guess? I, you know, I, I'm actually being literal because I'm kind of joking. Hey, hey, how are you? I'm kind of joking, but I'm also not because it's obvious, but it isn't. You would think I'm joking. I'm being sarcastic. Of course, it's the queue on the left. It's the standby queue, but it's not. The queue on the left. The, the, the queue that actually has people in it is Lightning Lane. The queue on the right, which just has a few guests in it now, is the standby queue. So that's why it's 50 minutes, even though it feels empty. That's why it's a 50 minute standby, because everybody, well, more people than usual, are on Genie Plus today. And I guess that's a win, actually. This day, as, as we view it, this is a win for Disney. We, we're, asking, we're having that conversation back in uh, Galaxy's Edge and talking about, you know, is this what Disney wants? Are they getting what they want? This today is exactly the scenario I think that they want. They want a lighter crowd, but more money, or just as much money is being earned because people are buying Genie Plus. The unfavorable turned favorable today. So they can have they don't have to fill the park up to the brim in order to maximize their revenue. They can have fewer people in the park and still maximize the revenue. That's the goal. That's the win. So while I'm sitting around, while I'm sitting around saying all day, oh my God, it's dead. This place is not crowded. What's going on? Meanwhile, Disney's like, this is how I win. Still though, I don't appreciate being thought of as yield to be managed. I don't like that feeling. I want to feel loved. I want to feel taken care of and wanted. 
<laughs> I love you, Fresh Bay. Thank you. Love thank you, you very much. Like that. Okay? That's... <laughs> hey, guys. How are you? That's how I want to feel. <laughs> That's better. Bob, be more like our Fresh Baked Muffins. <laughs> Can you do that, Bob? Can you? That's going to do it, Fresh Baked. State of Disneyland. Check. We did it. Uh, park's not very crowded. They're still not there, but I think, but the, you know, the, I, I think they want more people in here. According to the calendars, it's wide open. Magic, most magic keys can get it. I got mine today, this morning. I got it at, at midnight tonight, or last night. Uh, for the most part, single days. Although for some reason, <laughs> they can't get a ticket for tomorrow, or Sunday, or three days in the first week of October in the middle of the week. I don't know. But yeah, it's not very crowded. It's pleasurable. It's enjoyable. It's lovely. And look at this. Hi, guys. <laughs> Here's something. I don't even know what time it is. When's the last time you've seen the omnibus heading down Main Street? at four o'clock in the afternoon. Huh? Hi. Hi, honey. That is something, I love it. Love to see it. I need to do this. I don't know how soon I have to leave. I would ride this thing right now. Actually, you know what? What am I talking about? I'm the boss of me, right? <laughs> if I want to get on this bloody omnibus. This is how we're riding out tonight. <laughs> Let's get this. I asked the uh, our driver, they go as late as eight, eight o'clock. It depends on, like if it's an Oogie Boogie night, then probably not because it gets too crowded because everybody's come over from DCA, you know, at that time. Uh, and as you get closer to the fireworks show, you know, Main Street starts to get a little too crowded. But if it's not crowded, they will run this thing until, can you imagine riding the omnibus at night with the lights on? <laughs> oh my God, that's a dream. I would come down here to do just that and only that, which I may have to. I have a reservation for tomorrow, so, uh, Sunday night. That may be uh, our goal for Sunday night. Stand by for that. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Thanks guys for watching. Follow us on Instagram at underscore Fresh Baked, on Twitter at Fresh Baked Disney, that's Fresh with no E, and on TikTok at Fresh Baked Disney. And if you like our show and want to show you support, please do consider joining our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash Fresh Baked. Know that I love you guys. We love you. Uh, be safe out there. Be kind to one another and Fresh Baked, but don't go anywhere because we're obviously going to be riding this omnibus down Main Street at 4 o'clock. Woo! My name is Justin, I'll be your driver for today. Just a few reminders as we head out, please remain seated at all times. Please keep your hands, arms, feet, legs, and elbows inside the vehicle and supervise your children. This is a one-way trip to uh, Main Street, USA in front of City Hall. Enjoy your ride. <laughs> Woohoo! Coming up on your right hand side is Sleepy Beebe Castle, your gateway to Fantasyland. Fantasyland! Uh oh, look out guys. Look out! Dead! Dead! Where are they? Oh, there they are, hi guys! This is the best view. <laughs> it's really the best view. Uh, and my favorite attraction, the world famous enchanted air conditioned Kiki Room. Hi guys! Look how happy, oh, did you see how happy she was? Just get fried chicken and walk with it.
<laughs> That's, I love it. Get your chicken and then leave. Oh, there's Van. Our Van's on the uh, fire truck today. We're gonna hold at City Hall. On your right hand side is Coca Cola Refreshment Center. Uh, if you enjoy some ragtime piano and refreshments, go ahead wow. and stop over here later. This is a crowd you don't see in the morning when I generally ride the omnibus. You don't see a crowd like this generally. If you are uh, in need of a delicious dessert later, on your right hand that is Tipsy Grill uh, Ice Cream Parlor. If you're planning to stay up late, on your left hand side is our working house where you can find Starbucks coffee. And beyond that is our locker station. Shave and a haircut. Coming up on your left hand side is Main Street Cinema featuring Six Street. We gotta go back into the Main Street Cinema soon. Uh, tomorrow. I'm gonna be here tomorrow. I owe Disneyland tomorrow. A Main Street Cinema visit and a Finding Nemo in the morning. Sorry guys. Please stop and it shuts off. For those of you who are sitting on the top floor, please watch your step as you exit the stairs and assist young children. Thank you for riding the Disneyland Hobby Bus. My name is Justin and enjoy the rest of your day here at the Magic Kingdom. You said hold at City Hall. Oh, that's right. This must be the hold spot. Oh no, that's what are we talking about? The hold spot would be back there at the Emporium. Ba, 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 ba. That was amazing. Respect. 